Welcome to the new studio, everyone hates Tesla. Weaponization of the mass media. They're always coming for us, but that's okay. It's electric. Let's get active. Now, as you guys can see right here on X, we got somebody that hates us all the time. Now, it used to be the right, but I guess it's the left now. The left can't stand. They can't stand Elon Musk. And it seems to be one of the new few entrepreneurs who is firing at all cylinders. Take, for example, this interview of NASA's administrator, Bill Nelson Mandela, <laughs> by some reporter, NB. I'm not even going to say their name, okay? I'm not even going to grace them with that. She is working overtime to try to get NASA to say something bad about Elon or SpaceX. And this is what media does, right? They're going to get you guys distracted. WMD's weapons of mass distraction, okay? She starts by trying to focus on the fact that SpaceX is the only private space company really executing. Can you believe that? Boeing and Blue Origin, no disrespects, they're bums, okay? And instead of praising SpaceX, she attempts to get the NASA to express concerns with, you know, Elon having too much eggs in one basket, though he's performing, right? And when that fails, she tries to get the NASA to admit that Elon's posts on X are concerning and distracting for the space agency. She didn't seem to be too bothered by the fact that the company NASA is relying on to get to the moon has yet to get to orbit. She, she doesn't care about the failures of Boeing and other contracting companies. Nothing personal to you, Boeing, right? You're just failing. Nor did she seem to concerned by the fact that Boeing has stranded two astronauts on the ISS. Until Bill's credit, shout outs to Bill, Nelson Mandela, was very positive about SpaceX. He dodged the attacks on Elon as a loyal Democrat and point T. Shout outs to him. Now let's go ahead and see what I'm talking about. Okay, I've been ranting. You guys are like, what are you talking about? I'm gonna show you right here. Let's let's see what this slide snake does. I wanted to start by asking you about Boeing and its setbacks, and if you feel like that means NASA's overly reliant on SpaceX for the foreseeable future. Understand that SpaceX is a new thing that we started as a result of uh, Kay Bailey Hutchinson and I passing new laws in 2010. It's true as we go back to the moon after a half century. By the way, not to jo just go to the moon, we're going to learn to live, to work in that hostile environment. So so that's pretty exciting, right? To live and possibly colonize Mars or let's just talk. Let's just start with the moon. Elon's going to do that. SpaceX is going to do that. Not anybody else. Let's let's be honest. Let's let's stop the cat, okay? But he's got to be nice, you know. He can't show favoritism, but I can, because that's what I can do. And I show favoritism to results. I don't show favoritism specifically to SpaceX or Elon Musk. If they don't perform or never perform, then I wouldn't have this type of commentary. But they have performed, so I have this commentary. Let's continue. We can send humans to Mars. So that said, where do you but where do you think SpaceX and ranks in terms of all of the partnerships? Because certainly Elon Musk gets They've been phenomenal. Right. They've been phenomenal. The the proof's in the pudding. Look, they developed the Falcon 9 rocket. It's now the workhorse to get into space, government, commercial, defense. It's the workhorse. Do you worry about it's the workhorse, right? They have done what they've done. You know, we got all the Falcons. Now we have Starship. We're having more successful launches. We're increasing our ability in the process along because, you know, initially, you know, we couldn't get to orbit. Now we got to orbit. Now, okay, we can land some rockets or the booster, but one, we just got splashed out, right? And so it's not reusable as it is if it lands on its own. So we got some progress. So the company's doing great. Its performance has been amazing. But still. About Elon Musk and the misinformation that he spreads that that's a detracts or distracts from NASA and its mission? You know, 
the good news about that is that Elon has a president that he lets run the company and her name is Gwen Shotwell. And she's done that. She was the eighth employee of SpaceX and she's done a phenomenal job. And as we say in the South, the proofs in the pudding, the proofs in the pudding, right? She has done a phenomenal job. And I think a lot of people don't understand this about a lot of companies that actually Elon runs. There are CEOs guys. He's not the CEO of every company. So also when it's time is questioned about, can he have all these companies and does he have enough time? Well, if you use your brain for a second and you also use a thing called consignment, see, he's not the CEO of SpaceX. He's not the CEO of X. He's not the CEO of Neuralink. He's not the CEO of Boeing. He's the CEO of Tesla. And all other companies have a standing CEO that gets things done. And surprisingly, X CEO, female, SpaceX CEO, female. So you guys that are liberal should love Elon Musk. The proof is in the pudding. Look, look at the, uh, the crew to orbit, cargo to orbit. Now we'll see. They, along with Jeff Bezos company, Blue Origin, are going to be our two landers. We're going to get our astronauts to the moon in lunar orbit, and then they will transfer into first a SpaceX lander and then a Blue Origin lander. Now, of course, it's going to be SpaceX doing it. I was going like this. I want to get the astronauts back, so please come back home and thank you for your service. But let's stop the cap. It's SpaceX, not Blue Origin. No disrespect, Jeff Bezos. Right, and I think it's not. Now watch it. She's yeah, yeah. I hear all that. It's not about that. It's not about the astronauts. It's not about satellites. It's not about rockets. I know I'm talking to NASA, but it's not about your mission. Okay, <clears throat> nobody cares about your mission. Okay, what we're focusing on is the misinformation. Right, the media isn't that crazy. Look, it might distract. Wait, hold on. I'm not going to take that from him. I'm gonna let Nelson Mandela go ahead and say what he's got to say. Not necessarily how SpaceX is run, as you're saying. I'm just talking about the distraction of the constant headlines about him, and if you all feel like that's a distraction. Well, they distract you, but they don't distract NASA. <laughs> Ooh, they distract you, but they don't distract NASA, bro. That's a that's a mic drop right there. Let's run it back one more time for the big homie Nelson Mandela. You, but they don't distract NASA. You, but they don't distract. Well, they distract you, but they don't distract NASA. <laughs> Put some respect on NASA's name, man. Mic drop after that. There's nothing to be said. Amazing. The weaponization of media, WMDs, weapons of mass deception, right? Distraction. Stay frosty, guys. Everyone hates Tesla. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. You can't conceive it. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. I see you guys on the next episode. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can get this hot sauce. And I could weaponize my information for my mass media weapons of mass development. See, I'm different over here. All right. I'm not here to deceive. I'm only here to achieve.